it's almost like a holiday apart from I'm having to drive a lorry to an event and then cycle around for 24 hours so apart from that it's like a holiday but hopefully tomorrow's a new dawn so we're gonna be there doing it thank you Here at Brands Hatch with Revolve 24, partnering up with them this year and Cancer Research, taking on the 24 hour cycle endurance event to four man teams. Looking forward to it. Just here we've got a little hill, which is probably a little bit more brutal than Druids. And then you get a little bit further into the track is uh, the bomb hole, which is an absolute dipper of a hill and if you can go into it at full pelt then you can come out at full pelt and probably overtake about 30 cyclists but when I get to this hill here I, oh, it's, it's agony. Working 24 hours for the last seven days so it'd be good looking forward to it just want to I don't know the course so it's gonna be quite scary. No training to be honest with you um, Quite fit. I've done a lot of running, but so maybe I'll get off and run round instead. It might be a bit easier for me. So we'll see. We've been building up to it for such a long time now that it's just nice to get out on the track. Um, not a great start. One of the guys is already down. It's like we'll be cycling more than we expected, but that's what we're here to do. So we'll give it a go. But yeah. What stint are you on? I think I'm going first. First man out, I think. Yeah. So, well, I'm earn it quick, otherwise I'm in trouble. So, yeah, me versus Ollie. Race is on. Ollie better bring it. It's almost my time to go out. It's track is quite damp. There's been a few incidents around the course. We've been out in the course car, which is really, really good. Um, unfortunately, you do see a few guys at the side of the road. So the plan is to, I presume, take steady, stay in the upright position, and both wheels on the ground. It is what it is. I'm going to just to go out and enjoy it, enjoy the first stint. I'm going to try and do my fastest lap now, um, despite the weather conditions, because who knows what tomorrow's going to bring. I just wish it wasn't raining, but you know, it is what it is, right? English weather. Right? It won't be raining all weekend, so I'll have some dry time, I'm sure. I'd rather it rain during the day than night time. Yeah. Carries is going to do quite good. He's got a nice little team going, his guy. So I might have to chase him back down, but it's a good group out there. There's, there's a clear group that you want to join. I want, I want on that. I want that action. 
you have to bust the guts to catch it. But Got caught in the rain, thunderstorm. Well, I couldn't quite call it a thunderstorm. <laughs> I'd call it more of a, uh, a uh, very heavy shower with lots of hailstones. Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it, actually. It wasn't too bad. And the hour goes really quick. Ask me in uh, <laughs> 22 more hours when uh, it was about my last stint, and we'll see how, uh, how pleasurable it is then. Like you said, it's not as daunting as I thought it was going to be. I think it's just the um, number of times we're going to be doing it that's the daunting thing. When all the buzz quietens down a little bit and midnight sets in, we'll see how we're doing. But oh, I enjoyed it. Again, ask me at the end of it <laughs> to see if I say the same thing. Come on, Dave, work with the group, work with the group, carry on. Move on there. He wants to come in already, and that's all about his second lap, isn't it? <laughs> That's fun. <coughs> I'm happy with that. Uh, That's um, a lot better than I thought. I'm gonna had a few little wobbles. I'm gonna change my tyres on the next uh, stint, but. The speed, uh, I've just checked my speed and it's probably about seven kilometres an hour faster than last year. So, which hopefully then on the downhill is uh, a lot faster. Um, I'm happier. It was uh, extremely wet in places, so we're going to have to watch that. But hopefully with the new tyres on, um, there won't, won't be much fear. We're going to shake the fear off tonight. And, just get cracking on. I'm happy. Thank you. Ollie, I'm cold. <laughs> Hurry up, please. Supporting Cancer Research UK. Um, the guys have personally helped me out. Um, they've helped my family out, my dad. I've had uh, my esophagus removed because of cancer. Um, I've got sort of like uh, about seven bullet holes around here. I've had a lump removed like that, so couldn't eat for three months, but just makes you stronger. I was 19 stone, two or four pounds, um, a little over a year ago. I bought a little red bike. Uh, I entered this event, absolutely destroyed my body, and I swore blind that I would try harder. So this year I started training a little bit earlier. And my beaming smile tells you that the training has paid off. I, I, I wasn't sure a few hours ago, but now, yeah, I am. I'm really sure, and so that just inspires me now to literally sign on the dot for next year already. And it's half three in the morning, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for next year really. And you're still going to smile at the end of it. No matter what you do, you can be smiling. You've achieved something. And do it. Try and do it for something. Do it for yourself. Do it for a family member. Just get out there and do it. Um, I want to help the charity a bit more. Help promote them in the States and around the UK a little bit more. Uh, the job gets me around the UK more. So I think I'll continue that little journey with hopefully with Cancer Research UK and um, hopefully I don't go and get it myself. I've, I've been to the doctors this week about some checkups and stuff. So uh, everything's results pending, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, if it happens to be, then we just move forward and carry on. The journey's all about um, 
life's for living really. Don't take it too many things for granted. I'm not even the ex-wife, you know. <laughs> Certainly not my little cats. So yeah, I just, I just try and love everything and love everybody and I haven't got time for hate. There's hate cabbage. Don't hate people.